Hello, my name is Jason Roscoe. I work for Ultimate Air, the manufacturer of the Recuperator. I want to talk about our self-balancing uh, flow control feature. So, um, the problem exists that when you install a mechanical ventilation system, uh, you have one airstream or one duct system, duct run, bringing air into the house and a separate duct run taking air out. So all of these devices, mechanical ventilation, balanced mechanical ventilation devices, have two fans in them. Uh, not two motors, maybe, but two impellers, definitely. In other words, um, <clears throat> our unit has two independent fan motors in it. One fan motor is responsible for bringing air into the house, and the other fan motor is responsible for taking air out. And in most respects, you want these two air flows balanced. You want to bring in the same volumetric flow, cubic feet per minute, of air coming in as what you're taking out. Now, of course, there's a lot of instances where I might want to imbalance that, but in general, first let's talk about um, making these two balanced. Uh, our unit is the only unit on the market that has constant flow fans. In other words, when you look at the fan curve on, in our installation manual, it is a straight line, meaning that at a very wide range of duct static pressure, we output the same flow. So at every position, every flow setting that the recuperator has from low to high, from 30 to 200 CFM, we have constant flow control. So let's take, for instance, somewhere in the middle. If we set this flow, flow dial at, say, 120 CFM, we are telling each fan that we want 120 CFM going into the house and 120 CFM leaving. So now if the incoming airline has 50 foot of duct work, six branches, two elbows, uh, and, you know, however many vents, and then the leaving has 10 foot and only two elbows, that means that this shorter duct run is going to have less restriction at the same flow than the incoming line that has more restriction at the same flow. And with any other product on the market, you would have to balance the incoming flow versus the outgoing flow with a damper with something in the duct that physically restricts the, the less restricted duct to the restriction of the income, you know, of the opposite duct. To know that you have the same flow in and out. Because uh, most generally you do not want to induce negative pressure on a house. Your negative pressure will suck contaminants into it from outside that you really didn't want to do. Uh, and, I mean, the other aspect of that is you do not want humidity in your wall cavity. So, what we, <clears throat> what we are capable of off the shelf is constant flow control incoming versus outgoing. So, we know that the, the leaving air is equal to the incoming air, you know, within reason. I mean, no, we can't push 200 CFM down a 2-inch pipe. So within reason, the incoming flow versus the outgoing flow are going to be the same. Now with that, um, we are also able to do pressurization in the house. Um, on the control board underneath of this cover, there are uh, dip switch selections, uh, jumper selections, that allow you to offset incoming versus outgoing flow. So with the ability to control flow, we now have the ability to say, bring in 180 CFM and take out 160 or 140. We have some ability to have positive pressure effect on the house. So, you know, back to the, so the unit itself is set from the factory to deliver 
the same amount of air in as it takes out without the need to balance it. And you want to refer to the manual as to the full limits of that. And as the filters load up, the motors react accordingly to push the same amount of air in and out. I mean, this is a very unique feature of our product.